Hey y'all, uh, today we have a Mitchell 300 that is not setting, the trip's not setting. And we know why, because we can see that that lever is bent out. So it's not fitting into that groove right there. Um, so you can bend it like this, but I'm always, always a little concerned that I might break something inside. So if I can remove it, I'll rather take it out and then try to reform it or just replace it. So, in the process, I'll show you how to break this down. Um, but this is not a cleaning. He doesn't want a service, he just wants that part fixed, or he just wants the trip to set. So, we'll pop this off. <coughs> so, to remove this, we're going to have to um, open the side plate up to pull this shaft up. And I'm going to be real careful with this because there are black screws, and I don't want to mar them up. So what I want to do in these screws, uh, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, uh, the like button, and obviously the bell notification to stay up to date on new videos that I put out. So I'm just undoing these three screws here to remove the side cover. Just comes up like that. This will be on top of this post right here, and it should be cleaned, but it's not a cleaning video or a cleaning uh, service. So, all the screws are the same size on that. Next, we're going to remove this. Then we're going to take this plate out. Put that there. Then we got to remove the sliding or this plate here. I think they call it a slider or something. One of those things are a slider. keep that on there I don't want to take that off because that's integral so let's just pop it up like that and now we can pull the shaft out now we can take off this screw here or this nut excuse me to remove the rotor Now we gotta remove this metal plate. That metal plate has like a little prong on the side there that fits into a slot. So kinda gotta just work it. Until you get lucky. get lucky one day I'm just jiggling it oh, there we go then you'll find some washers under there whatever the washers are there just leave them the way they they are again this really should be really cleaned it's a pity he doesn't want to clean it uh, well that's not good all right. Uh, this screw is rusted in there, um, so I'm not even gonna try to remove that. I'm just gonna try to bend it or reform it from out here, and hopefully that doesn't break off. If it does, then we uh, we just essentially destroyed this part of the reel. <clears throat> so this is where you kind of just do things and hope and pray.
Okay. Let's try to reform this. And I'm going to go slow. I'm just trying to get that to fit inside that groove there. Of course, there's some wear on it, but it should still work. scary I'll tell you that but look it's looking good all right let's leave it alone oh there we go and now it's fixed now we got to trip it and that part is obviously a little different this is kind of roughed up so but the reel is essentially fixed so we just had to reform that prong to sit essentially straight up versus being angled out all right, hope you guys liked the video. Uh, please, again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And also check out my other videos on, on repairing stuff and repairing fishing reels. And I also have some tips and tricks in some of them and some complete breakdowns as well. All right, thanks again for watching, guys, and I will see you all next time. Let me go ahead and put it all back together for you guys so you just kind of see how it goes back together. Um, first, I'm going to put this on. And then we're going to take our plate and get that put on. Taking these washers and just putting them back over this thing here. And again, like I said, there's a little notch on that plate right there. The curved end will be facing down, so like that. And I'm finding this notch. I'm just kind of jostle it back and forth until it just sets in place like that. Sorry, I was looking at text. I apologize. Okay, so next thing is the shaft. And it's curved and flat on one side. The flat, end, flat side will be facing up. Like that. And then let me fix this washer. That I kind of mangled slightly on this. Then put this plate on. Um, that's how it'll sit with that notch at the top facing up. And we're just going to screw it in. Next will be this piece here. That prong will be fitting inside that hole on the shaft. Like that. Then we'll take this piece. Those little tabs on the bottom there will be facing down. Let's push this up a little bit. And then we just take the side plate. I'm going to stick the uh, 
this seal on this side and then just kind of merge or mesh them together like that sometimes you have to kind of work it a little bit just to make sure it sets let's make sure we're in there that feels right then we'll just lock those in Let's just screw this in and make sure we have a functioning reel. That's better. A lot better. And now we have a fully functioning bale. All right, guys. Again, thanks for watching. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you all next time.